Some wildfire evacuees in Canada's Alberta province were able to return home as a result of respite given by lower temperatures and moderate rain. However, a number of flames were remained out of control, and efforts to put out the fires in this area might be hampered by an impending strong spike in mercury. The stifling smoke still fills the air and is pushed by winds throughout the continent as far as the Arctic and Atlantic coasts, despite the fact that officials have withdrawn evacuation orders for a few of the settlements after battling back the flames. The number of wildfires that, over the course of the last four days, caused at least 30,000 people to leave. From a peak of 110, it has dropped to 81, with 24 still being categorized as uncontrollable. However, according to authorities, hot and dry weather will return on Friday and last through the weekend. Since the unusual incident, more than 700 firefighters are now deployed, and a request has been made for additional 1,100 reinforcements from the rest of the nation. The Premier of Alberta indicated that at least 74,000 acres in the province are typically burned by wildfires each year. Extreme weather has frequently affected Western Canada in recent years, which have grown in severity and frequency as a result of global warming. In 2016, Forest fires in Canada's oil science area halted production and drove 100,000 people from Fort McMurray, severely harming the economy of the country. More recently, in 2021, the westernmost province of British Columbia had record-breaking summertime temperatures. It resulted in 500 fatalities and flames that completely devastated this town. Devastating floods and mudslides followed this large-scale accident, 